To record basketball, connect your ScoutBot to any standard tripod. Then grab your wireless remote and put in your headset. This way you can film without watching the camera. After you log into the Scout app, you then need to connect your phone to your ScoutBot. Once you do that, then you're ready to record. The easiest way to Connecting record basketball to is bot. using assist mode. Here we're going to zoom in Connected. a little bit with the remote to get the full court. Then we're going to change preset. our presets to two. Then we're going to use the remote to move to the left side of the court. We can even zoom in a little bit. We're going to save that preset. Preset save. Then we're going to pan all the way over to the other side of the court and save preset that preset save. with the remote. And then start the recording with the remote. Recording. And we can start adjusting the pan, pan speed. speed. Six. I'm doing the pan, pan speed, speed from the five. double arrow buttons pan on the remote. Speed. Six, up and down till I find the speed I want. Speed. Seven. You'll notice one. in the background you can hear the app telling me what's happening. Here I stopped in between presets. So I was going to one and I hit back to two and it pauses in between. That's a way to stop at mid court if you ever need to. Most of the time you don't. One. There I press the left button on the remote to move me all the way to preset one because I stopped in between them. And now the camera is just going to sit on my preset until I tell it to move. When the ball changes possession and the players are about to run the other way, all I got to do is hit the right arrow on the remote to go to preset number two. Once I do that, two. I have a consistent pan at the exact same speed that I set it to. You can adjust that at any time though. To go back to preset one, I just tap the remote's left button one time. One. Now it's moving all the way to preset one without me doing anything. If I need to save a highlight, I hit the highlight button. Highlight save. Now I know that the highlight is saved to my phone as well as the long video. Two. I'll continue filming this game using my two presets as well as the highlight button. Two. The great thing about this system is I'm not even watching the camera move during this game. I can hear what's happening and I can hear when I'm saving highlights. So now highlight I have an saved. easy way to film, I can enjoy the game like any other parent, and I don't One. have to go back and edit for those highlights.